Hello YouTubers, today we are really excited to go through the installation and configuration procedure for the terminal for Stripe and WooCommerce plugin that we've created. And uh, if you've gone ahead and purchased your terminal directly from the Stripe.com website, you are ready to go. Otherwise, if you've purchased it directly through Verifone or a separate contractor or vendor, uh, you're going to have to go ahead and install the Stripe terminal software directly onto that device. That will be handled in a separate video. Um, but if you've purchased it directly from Stripe.com, you're ready to go. We'll dive right in right after this intro. Welcome back. So when you first unbox the reader, it'll look something like this. And connecting it is pretty simple. Just take the back off and take your little patch cable, connect it to the back, put the cover right back on. Take your AC adapter, and you're going to put that into the female end of your little dongle right here. This is going to handle your internet connectivity, Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Now, right out of the box, your device might not support Wi-Fi. You may be required to download some firmware. When you first connect it, just connect an Ethernet cable to the dongle, power it up, and it'll install the firmware for you. To connect to a Wi-Fi network, you can force the prompt by typing into the reader, zero Wi-Fi. That's zero nine four three four. That'll give you a list of networks to connect to, just like you'll see on any other mobile device. Uh, you'll be used to seeing that uh, from just basic life, I guess, and um, it'll be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, now that you're connected to the internet using Ethernet, uh, your reader's ready to set up, and so we'll get a registration code. Now in the future, um, you can reuse this to connect any other device, uh, not just this only th this one alone. And so to do that, you're going to enter 07139. Now I've already set up a reader for us by plugging it in and connecting it to the internet. You're going to see this little background right here. It's this Stripe logo background. And you can change that background to be whatever it is that you want uh, within the Stripe dashboard. Just go to stripe.com and you can upload your, your own little background there. So we're going to hit 07139. And that's going to give us registration code. It's usually a three-word hyphenated sentence. Um, and we're going to leave that open because we're going to go back to this later on in the installation process. So uh, we're going to move on to WordPress, and we'll show you what installation looks like in a clean WordPress site. Make sure to leave the screen open because we'll revisit it. We've set up a development environment for a WordPress website called johnnysdonuts.com for this. If you're super interested in Johnny's World Famous Donuts, I'm afraid you'll have to find someone named Johnny who makes World Famous Donuts because this isn't real. This is just a development environment. We're assuming that if you're watching this video, you've already installed WooCommerce and the WooCommerce Stripe Gateway plugins. If not, you should pause this video here and go set up your WooCommerce store. Otherwise, you have nothing to sell in your terminal. We're going to go to the plugins section and show you which ones we're talking about. The first step is to go to the plugin section. These ones down here are the plugins that we're talking about. Now the first step is to install the plugin. This video is about configuring our free plugin, but you'll notice we also have our pro services plugin here. We'll go through the setup for that in a separate video. You can also have both installed, but only one of them can be activated at once. If you're like me, you will probably just go to the plugin page, also seen in the description below, and click the download button to download the package. From there, you just unzip and upload the files via FTP, SSH, RDP, Git, or however else it is that you handle your file migrations to your plugins directory, just like you would any other plugin. If you prefer the automated installation, just go to the plugin section and click Add New. Now enter the keywords Terminal for Stripe and WooCommerce to find our plugin, and then click Install Now. Once the install is completed, you're going to click Activate. Now that your plugin is installed and active, it will be provided as a payment method on WooCommerce. Click on the Settings link and you will see that you are now connected to the WooCommerce Settings Payment tab. That's because Stripe Terminal is now one of your payment methods. From here, just make sure that the Enable checkbox is selected. This is essentially your two-factor activation. Now give it a title and a description. This will display on checkout to show your payment method beside the credit card form, so make it professional. 
Location and customer account management is not available within this free version of the plugin, but if you're interested, these buttons will take you to the Pro Services information page. Now, to add a reader, you're going to click the Add Reader button. Now look at your reader. Remember when we got that registration code? This is the time to enter it. Be sure to add the string exactly as it appears. If it is hyphenated, keep it hyphenated. Now you will give the reader a name. This will appear on the reader's button on checkout. This should be recognizable because if you plan to operate two readers, you don't want to confuse the two if you are checking out two different customers at the same time. The last thing to remember is that this plugin is only accessible to people who've been given permission to accept credit card transactions. So it is important that anyone you want handling transactions for your business has their own account so you can track who's performed these transactions. It is also important that this user is given the role of a member who is privileged to perform credit card transactions. Within WooCommerce, this is the admin role or the shop manager role. Let's look at Jimmy, for example, who is Johnny's store manager. You'll see that he has the shop manager role. If Jimmy did not have this, he would not be able to go through checkout. Your setup is now complete, so let's go take a look at the front end. Johnny is selling these great fake jelly donuts, so I'm going to buy one. Since this is a cashier experience, the logged in user must be a cashier like Jimmy or Johnny. So I tell Jimmy I want one jelly donut and he adds it to the cart. And then he will proceed through checkout. Johnny will see his own information in the customer form, and that's fine because WooCommerce will track this order as if Johnny or Jimmy has completed it. If you'd like to make an order associated with a customer account, check out the Pro Services plugin where this feature is covered and even handles data sync with Stripe. As he scrolls down, Johnny will now see the title Stripe Terminal as a checkout option and select that option. This will open up an option for all of the registered readers and the description text we've provided. Now he just clicks the reader that he set up and that will put the checkout into waiting mode. You'll see that your reader is now asking for a payment method. The Verifone P400 accepts dipping, swiping, contactless RFID payments, and even Google Pay and Apple Pay. I will now present my card. If I've decided against paying, Jimmy can choose to wait for the device to time out. Our plugin will automatically expire the order after 30 inactive seconds. Otherwise, Jimmy can manually cancel the order by hitting the escape key. If a card is declined, you'll get a similar experience and we'll go over that shortly. This credit card was declined. Now we'll go through a timeout. Now let's try again, but this time we'll use a reader card. The order has gone through. Now let's look at the back end. You will see that Johnny has been associated with the order. That's because no customer account was connected. This is consistent with a normal point of sale encounter where a customer is not asked to provide additional information. However, as indicated earlier, in the Pro Services plugin, you'll see the customer's information associated with each order, and the cashier and register information will be recorded as metadata. That's it. 
We hope you enjoy our plugins and look forward to sending our new features and product releases in the future. Thank you.